All right. So if you look at any market, any market has basically two players, the bulls and the bears. The bulls are the one who push the market prices up and the bears are the one who push the market prices down. So there is a constant battle that is going on between the market participants. Some people are trying to push the prices up and some people are trying to push the prices down, which is the reason why you have prices moving up and down in the market. Okay. So when we are looking at any chart, we need to understand who is more powerful in the market. Is it the bulls or is it the bears? So if the bulls are more powerful in the market, I will buy or I will take a long position. If the bears are more powerful in the market, I will sell or I will take a short position. Understand that as a professional trader, you should be able to make money irrespective of where the market is going. You can make money when the market is going up. You can make money when the market is going down. Normally, amateur traders only think that you can make money when the market is only going up. But professional traders, they make money both ways. And we will see how that happens as we go along. Okay. So now, because there are two market players, there are five market sentiments. The bullish, the bearish, the neutral, the neutral to bullish and the neutral to bearish. A bullish means what? So if I feel that the prices are likely to go up in the market, I am, I am a bullish market participants. If I feel that the prices are going to crash or fall down, I am bearish on the market. If I feel that the market is going to remain flat, it will neither go up neither nor it will go down. I am neutral on this market. And if I feel that the market is less likely to go down, that means the market is either likely to go flat or it will it is either likely to go up. So that is called as neutral to bullish. In neutral to bullish, what I am saying is that chances are the market will either go flat or up, but there is very low probability that it will go down. Similarly, in neutral to bearish, there is a very low probability that the market will go down. I feel that the market will go flat or it will go down. So these are all market sentiments. These are all emotions in the market. So I just it's just a view. Okay, I can be bullish on the market. But when I buy the market might start falling. So it's just a view. It's just an emotion. It's just psychology. Okay. So what do I do when I'm bullish? I take a long position. Now, as someone who wants to become a professional trader, I want you to understand that don't say I will buy or I will sell. As a professional trader, if you are bullish, you say that I will take a long position. As a professional trader, when you are bearish, you will say that I, have, I am taking a short position. Short position is a position which you can take when you are bearish on the market. So let's say you are bearish on the market and you take a short position. When the market goes down, you make profits. In a long position, when the market goes up, you make profits. Okay. So understand that as a professional trader, you can make money both ways. And you can check with your broker how to take a short position. You will, he will guide you in, in that, in how to place a short position order. So short position is where you make money when the market goes down. Long position is where you make money when the market goes up. So that's the first lesson. If you are a very new or if you are a beginner in trading, you can make money both ways. Okay. For professional traders, it doesn't matter where the market is going. So that's the thing. Next, neutral. If you think that the market is going neutral, you don't, you take no position at all. You neither go long nor do you go short. Okay. You remain flat on the market. So when I say that I am flat on the market, which means I have not taken any position. When I say that I am I am long on this market, I have taken a long position and I, ex I expect the prices to go up. When I say that I am short on the market, I expect the prices to go down. And when the market goes down, I make money. Now, what if I am neutral to bullish? Now, this is good for people who are advanced traders, like people who are into options trading and things like that. So this is good because I, I take if when I'm neutral to bullish, which means I will neither take I will first 
I may or may not take a position. Second is if I take a position, I will take a long position because I feel that the market is less likely to go down. It will either go flat or it will go up. Okay. Same goes for neutral to bearish. So I will either don't take any position or if I take a position, I will go short on the market. So that's the basic. It's very basic. These market positions. First, we have to decide our view, and depending on the view, we can choose to decide which position to take. And Japanese candlesticks help us to decide what is our view and what position we have to take exactly. Okay.